The Bad Batch final season trailer showed a couple of things, but the biggest one that it showed, and it's pretty tragic just as we imagined it, it's this line. If we all go in, we're not all making it out. So if we go all in, we won't make it all out. And right now, people are just taking bets. I think that Hunter saying the line negative when rejecting to abort does say something, but most tend to believe that it will be Crosshair in the end who sacrifices himself. The cavalry has arrived. Re that's Wrecker's line, so it could be Wrecker, it could be all three, honestly, and there's just a variety of speculation, a variety of rumors of what's going to happen, but most of all, there's just been a whole lot of questions left as well. Not only who will die, not only what's going to happen in the final episodes now upcoming, I think only three are left. One of the other big questions, I think, is, of course, as we've talked about earlier, it's Commander Cody and Commander Wolf, too. You see, Wolf appeared a couple of episodes ago, and we haven't heard from him since. He rejected to apprehend Omega and the others right in front of a clone commando, who is definitely in the payroll of Hemlock, and other clones too. Supposedly, we were led to believe that those clones could be loyal to Wolf. However, the clone commando is very, very sus. And I think there's a reason why we haven't heard of Commander Wolf ever since. And, of course, Commander Cody has been missing for a while now. And just as I predicted a couple of episodes ago, talking about Admiral Rampart, it is in fact Rampart who is back in the latest episode yesterday, sporting a beard no less, and when they task him to find Tentis, he says it's much more complicated than that, and it's gonna take some effort. So essentially, they are going to travel, go somewhere, talk to someone, so things are starting to heat up. And now I might think naively that Commander Cody might be finally involved in the next episode, where Admiral Rampart is definitely going to talk to somebody. Who else is he gonna talk to? Everybody that's involved with the Empire won't touch him. However, a clone commander who has abandoned, went AWOL, abandoned the Empire during its transition days. While clones were being shipped off to Tantus, Commander Cody was there together with Admiral Rampart. And so, yeah, Rex, Hauser, all these guys, once they're involved, we've talked about previously that I am in dire need of a new clone se series headed by Dave Filoni. A series where all these clones, Rex, Cody, Wolf, Gregor, all come together to save clones from the Empire. And along the way, civilians and everybody else too, even Jedi survivors. Let's have a conversation down below about Commander Cody. Would you like to see him back? How would you like to see him back? Because we don't see him in Star Wars Rebels, then there is the possibility, of course, that Commander Cody, not only will he not join these guys, but even if he joins them, he might die during season three. So in the latest video of mine that I've done about the Bad Batch, I talked about how Dave Filoni with episode six and seven kind of announced a new series, a new animated series focused on these clones. And you saw how electric episode six and seven was. I saw in the comments as well, many people really enjoyed episode six and seven. Not to be kind of the bad guy here, but the Bad Batch has run its course. I've been saying this for a couple of videos now because it's really true. I mean, I don't care anymore about what Omega is going through or what she's going to be doing. I know we've never seen her outside of the Bad Batch series and maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's time for us to just say goodbye, bid farewell to the Bad Batch during this season. This is the final season. Whether they die or they outlive their opponents, I'm guessing that the Bad Batch should just rest on its laurels. It was a pretty good series, but at this point, there isn't really much sense to it. What I really, really want, and what I know that you guys want too, is a Rex Wolf Gregor clone series where it's the clone A-team. That's what essentially boils down to. They are this magnificent clone elite group that go after the Empire, sabotage the Empire wherever and whenever they can. And the primary objective, as we've seen so far with Rex at the very least, is saving his brothers, saving the clones from the wretched hands of the Empire. Not only were the clones used and spit 
out, but now they're being used again for the second time, this time around as nothing more than fodder for the experiments of the Emperor and for Hemlock. Naturally, of course, this isn't fair at all, but keeping in line with Commander Cody, will he join this elite team in this new clone series that I think should be announced at least this year? Maybe it's not a coincidence. Please just hear me out and think about it. Maybe it's not a coincidence that the Bad Batch is ending on May 3rd, guys, because the day after it's May 4th, and what happens in May 4th? We have a bunch of announcements. Right after the Bad Batch Season 3 ends, and the Bad Batch itself just ends, we get the next day a new announcement of a animated show featuring these clones during Imperial times. We basically know nothing of clone survivors. I mean, we barely know anything about Jedi survivors after Order 66. You know, we've got our elite ones like Obi-Wan and so forth, but we don't know a lot about Jedi survivors and let alone clone survivors after the Empire slowly phased them out. Now, we, with the Bad Batch, we've started to learn a lot lot more we've seen that the clones have started to group together at least this elite division that essentially are the backbone of the rebel alliance of what's going to become at the very least the rebel alliance later on when and if this new clone series starts or if it ever materializes we're being led astray by De Filoni thinking that there's only three elite clones that we see in Star Wars Rebels the old guys Wolf, Gregor, Rex these guys barely survived the Imperial times and are hanging by a thread when found by Ezra Bridger, Kanan Jarrus and of course Ahsoka but what if I told you that there is a fourth one what if I told you that there's a fourth member that couldn't actually hang on like these three guys what if the fourth member of this elite group is commander cody there are two possibilities essentially as i see it so first one is it's really lame but i'm guessing that the first one could be commander cody was once he went AWOL, he was captured later on by Hemlock, and he is experimented on on Tantus, and perhaps he is one of these Imperial Shadows that is doing the bidding of the Emperor everywhere. They are a formidable group, a formidable elite warrior type that gets the job done, no matter the consequences. Me, I'm thinking this is definitely Tech in Episode 6 and 7. Cody is not one of these shadow assassins, but who knows? But I'm not going to even entertain it because it would be just a stupid idea, in my opinion, to for Cody to have a fate like that. My second opinion, of course, and this is the most popular one, this is, this would be a dream come true, honestly, is Commander Cody is still AWOL. The Empire hasn't been able to find him, or at least has given up on him, but Rex might pick up a clue during the later episodes of this season of Bad Batch Season 3. What I'm scared of, of course, is that we've not heard anything about Cody, not even in the trailer for Season 3. We've not seen anything Commander Cody related. We've not heard anything Commander Cody related. This might be on purpose. This might be building up to where even the audience is surprised to see Cody back. Once Cody is back with this group, not only will this mark the first time that Rex and Cody have seen each other, other since since the waning moments of the Republic, but they will join forces against the Empire together in perhaps a new clone series headed by Dave Filoni once more, and that would be just, oh man, spectacular. Just the, the greatest, I think that would be the greatest animated show ever, even perhaps rivaling the Clone Wars. I don't know about that, but yeah, I mean, clones fighting the Empire during Imperial times. It's just clones versus stormtroopers. It's, it's just written in the stars, in my opinion, and they would be foolish not to, you know, take advantage of this storyline. Think of the possibilities, not only clone survivors joining the group and fighting against the Empire, but along the way, they're picking up Jedi survivors like Quinlan Vos. Why not? Because we've seen Asajj Ventress get back, and even in the Dark Disciple novel, she actually, she has a death scene. So she is back again, perhaps retconned, and we're gonna get an explanation for that, I'm sure. But this means definitely that Quinlan Vos is still out there, baby. Quinlan 
Voss could join this group, this tag team as well, and he is a ferocious Jedi. Even when the Jedi Order was around, Quinlan Voss was a Jedi to be reckoned with. Can you imagine when he has no Jedi code or no Jedi Order to answer to? He was just a monster. And yeah, that series would just bring in the numbers. Not only would it be profitable for Disney+, Plus, which is a good financial move, but you know, for me, it's just all in the creativity, the stories that you could tell across the galaxy. This tag team, this ragtag group of clones and a Jedi survivor, perhaps two Jedi survivors fighting alongside each other against an empire that they know perhaps they have no chance against, but hope never dies. This is amazing in my opinion and I would love to see Cody get mixed up in the story too and I'm gonna leave you with one lasting thought Cody and Rex haven't seen each other during Imperial times. Think about that. The last time they saw each other was when the Republic was still alive. This is how long it's been. So yeah, here's hoping Cody makes it back.